What's up Jones Bones? It is your girl Unitedly Random and today we are talking about mothers and the toxic is silent. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. So, Mother's Day just passed for you guys. I'm recording this before Mother's Day, but you know, the logistics of it all. Mother's Day just passed, and the days following, or the days going up to Mother's Day, I've really been thinking about my mom and how we don't have that good of a relationship. It's sad, but it's true. We don't have that good of a relationship. Honestly, the best times that me and my mom can spend together are the times that we aren't even speaking to each other. Like put a lifetime movie on the screen and just, we don't have to talk to, for, to each other for like the next two hours. We good, right? That's the type of relationship that I have with my mom. I never really could go to my mom to talk about things with her unless it was like I was giving her this sensational story or whatnot it's like I don't know how to really explain it but in the past year things have been getting progressively worse and it wasn't really like my mom did anything it was just I kind of got to the point where I recognized my worth and that was a problem for my mother that was a problem for the whole family I don't know how to explain it because I told my mother that she has said some very upsetting things to me throughout the years and therefore she has hurt my feelings and that if she wanted to continue to be able to communicate with me or she wanted to continue to talk with me, then I suggested that she might go ahead and do therapy because there's something wrong here. And I also told her that like think about what she's saying before she says it because while she can say something and then forget it the impact of what she said is left on the person right um so we're talking a little bit about my mother in this video those who have watched my live videos i went into more details about my mother but i realized i never really sat down and did a video where i just sat down and was like let's talk about my mama why Honestly, I think there's this little idea of loyalty or this this idea of what loyalty should be especially in the black community you can't really speak out about things that are going on in the household I don't know if it was just me I used to think that it's a black community thing maybe it's just a my mama thing but you had to be secretive about everything you don't it's just uh, it's just so toxic because if I didn't grow up with this idea that you had to be so secretive about everything I feel like I would have went ahead and started to get help and really opened up and I would have gotten help before it's gotten to this point where I legitimately had like a breakdown you know what I'm saying so we're not gonna talk all about my mom like there's a lot of stories that i could just sit down and talk to you guys about but what we're really going to talk about is me and my mom are in no contact right now and it's great it's great for me i've never been healthier i know when i first started going no contact with my mom i kind of just hoped that she would reach out to me or just apologize and whatnot like i don't know i wanted something for from her and it was something that i've never gotten from her so i don't know what i expected really from her you know what i'm saying um so when I first went no contact with my mom, it was following this big fight where this was the first time as an adult I've ever like yelled at my mom. I've ever got uh, physically angry. I have very much got to the point where I was just like, I told my mom that she was an effing adult. Like that's, that's, that's the thing. I said, you're an adult. And it's just like, why are you this way like you have an as a child you have an image of an adult in this this level of pettiness this level of anger this is what my mom has that's not what an adult is for me right and that's not what i want to be and it's just really frustrating because that was the role model in my household and now i find myself being a toxic person and it's just like i don't want to blame my childhood for why i'm a toxic 
toxic person, but my childhood is why I'm a toxic person. So it all kind of comes back down to we, me and my mom had this big fight. Now, what was the big fight about? If you guys ever seen my video talking about my father, it was about that. And I think the week before I had brought up that, you know, you guys gave me this man's obituary to tell me he was gone, right? And my mother and my sister, they, they've they gotten it into their heads that I was lying. That makes absolutely no sense that they gave me his obituary because his obituary wasn't even ready. His, his funeral wasn't even until the end of the week. No, they came and picked me up and two days later, it was his funeral. Now, I know that for a fact, but when other people, especially two other people that were involved in the situation are telling me, no, you're wrong, very much gaslighting. It was like, no, I had to go back. And so I went back and I found proof. I pulled up the calendar and I said, he was buried on this day, which was a Monday, the 23rd. They buried him on my sister's birthday, which was kind of trifling, but okay. My mom was like, well, you know, death happens, but it... They buried him on my sister's birthday, which is great because it makes it so much, it's like, it's very clear to me what day it happened on, right? So it happened on my sister's birthday, which was that Monday. They picked me up literally that Saturday and they handed his obituary to me to tell me that he had passed away. So my sister and my mom, they have deja vu about this. I don't. It was hella traumatic for me. So I'm just like, this is what happened. And my mom's like, no, you're wrong. Now, at this point, I've done the therapy and whatnot. And I guess I've never really worked on my issues with my mom. I was mostly working on, like, my childhood trauma things, you know, um, the essayed and the mole. You know what I'm saying? So we weren't really working on my mommy issues in therapy. But one of my biggest things is people freaking with my reality. People really telling me, like, that gaslights the heck out of me, right? So honestly, my mom was just gaslighting me. And so in response to that, I was like, I was really irritated. I was like shaking angry about it because I was like, they're telling me I'm wrong, but I know for a fact I'm right, right? Um, me and my husband, we get in the car and I go online. I pull up the thing and I send it to my mom. She never responded to the screenshot I sent her proving that I was correct. And we had to go back a week later. And when we came back a week later, I was like, I was kind of like reserved because when we came back, I was just like, I sent that to her and she never said anything from me sending it to her. Um, so I was very reserved standing back and she was like, oh, you don't seem really happy to see me and whatnot. And so I was just like, um, you know, I sent that thing to you and you never said anything about it, but I know you saw it. So why didn't you say anything about it? And she was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. So it's just like <laughs> diminishing, diminishing, diminishing. And it just got to the point that it was too much for me. Like I said, the beginning of the year, I kind of sat down with my mother. I told her, you know, you say things that are very hurtful and it has hurt me so many times before it has hurt me so badly and I'm struggling with this pain and my mom reaction to me telling her that you know you have hurt me with your words was I can't say nothing to y'all every time I say something y'all will talk about y'all feelings hurt and I was like if every time you say something to somebody and their feelings get hurt like it, it tells you that you are you're saying hurtful things and it just it's just always been like it's always been like that. And throughout my childhood, she's done and said things that I would never tell to my own child. I would never do to my own child. And whenever I tried to turn to adults around me, it was always like, forgive your mother, forgive your mother. Mothers are only human. And that really fucking sucks because I'm only human. You know, I'm human too. And so you're saying that what she's doing to me is okay because she's human and I just have to put up with it. And it just really, really gets to me. But 
I finally, because the thing is, growing up, I always had a feeling that me and my mom would go no contact or I would have to leave the situation because she was never going to change. And I always held out hope. I was the top apologizer for my mother. Like, if I just sat down and talked to you guys about all the things that my mom has done to me or said towards me, you guys would be thinking that I'm talking about this villain on a freaking movie. But we're only human, right? Um, and so now growing up, I realized that all of those things have really embedded themselves in who I am. I got abandonment issues, so that's fun. What does that do for me? Well, that puts me in relationships where I get abused and gaslighted, and I keep staying in these relationships. It's like, because why? Because that's, that's what I know. That's, that's life, right? Um... And so I started this year and I've pretty much been doing my healing journey and whatnot. I'm not going to take it anymore. And so my mom, she absolutely hates her mom. So growing up, I always had this idea that the reason me and my mom had a bad relationship is because she doesn't know what a good relationship with a daughter looks like because her and her mom have a bad relationship, right? And... I held that so closely to me and I was like that was that was the the piece de resistance that was the it's okay um things are gonna get better I don't know what I tried to use that information for but I was like she doesn't know what a healthy bond is so therefore like it's not her fault but everything really came together and I could sit right here and tell you guys the big reason that it snowballed to this point. But honestly, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I started this video and I was just kind of ranting, but in ADHD, I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm just talking at this point, but I definitely cut my mother off and it was the best thing I could do for myself. So the day after Mother's Day, because I didn't want to put this out before Mother's Day, I just want to go ahead and put out to all of the people out there who are dealing with mothers like mine, where you feel so hurt and you feel like you're never going to kind of heal from it if you continue to stay in that situation, leave just leave go and I'm not gonna judge you for leaving leave if you can because honestly it's the best thing you can do for yourself it's the very best thing that you can do for yourself because now I see myself starting the hill and that was something I couldn't do while interacting with my mother every day it was something that I couldn't do because when I interacted with my mother I could start off right here but every time I interacted with my mother I was down here I was always angry and I was always frustrated and it didn't even have to do with sometimes of the things that she said about me it's sometimes she just whenever I talk to my mother she just kind of she she's she's so upset with life that she would just kind of vent about life to me and this is something that she's did growing up. She's like, I don't need a therapist because my children are my therapist. No, your children should not be your therapist. I mean, in some ways, you should be your children's therapist. But that's that's too much to ask for in this situation, okay? We got to take what we can take. You know what I'm saying? So, all in all... If you guys have any questions about this, I don't have any problems talking more about my mother. It's a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of fear. Like I'm breaking a little bit of a loyalty code because I know my mother would hate me if she knew that I was talking about her. But also it's just like, this is the present, like, like trauma that you've given me. And now I am to do with it what I want to do with it. Okay. And it just really sucks because on top of all, of that my mom isn't going to care that she hurt me she's going to care that I said something about her more and I think that really speaks to the whole idea about toxic mothers so I want to thank you guys for watching my videos if you guys got this far much love and positive vibes hopefully things Things will work out between you and your mother. I know the best thing I could do for me was to leave that situation. Maybe you guys can figure it out. Maybe you guys could work something out between your parents. But for me, I had to walk away because 
she wasn't going to change. I don't know if, like, from 10 years from now or whatnot, she'll ever change. But I know if she doesn't change, I can't be there. Right?